So in this video of Node.js, we'll cover a very important part of it that is the Express Framework. You can take it as a very separate technology also, but in Node.js for creating any APIs, we will definitely use this Express Framework. So let's have an introduction about it. Uh, we have already seen the usage of HTTP module for creating the web applications. For that, uh, we used to open a browser and start making the request for a HTTP module. You can do that from there also, but this is what one is quite customized and you can perform the rapid application development by using the Express framework. So the creating web application using HTTP is a long process and uh, in Express, you will get some of the predefined functionality which will give you some added benefits. So what is Express is all about? Express is a web application framework for Node. All right, you can separately call it Express JS also. Okay, it is a minimal and flexible framework. As I said, like it is flexible, you can make it the applications like all the functionalities are predefined over here and it facilitates rapid application development. Now, what are the features of it? Like it performs the routing. Okay, routing, you don't need to go for the particular programming implementation. You have the predefined functions right here, which you can use for the routing scenario. You can maintain the sessions via cookies using Express. You can parse the incoming request that may be in JSON also, means because whenever you are working with the any JavaScript technology like Angular or Node.js, the major uh, data source is always a JSON format. All right. So it does provide you the parsing features of JSON and it rejects the malformed request means if some request is uh, not particular, so it will automatically reject that particular request. Now, this is a sample application which you can create using uh, ExpressJS. So here you see, first of all, I have included the Express. You need to install that using npm install Express and then you call this express function will assign to this app. So what will happen? This function is an object of express. So this app object will now take care of this complete express application. Whenever you want to perform a routing thing, you see there is a get method. So get slash means you are requesting for the home page. And as soon as you will do that, you will get a message in the browser. Hello world. So it's a very simple hello world program. Get is one of the way to make a request. Here, while working with Express, you can perform some other HTTP verbs also, like get, post, put, delete. Generally, get is for reading the data, but when you want to create a new data in a database, so you use the post request. To update, you use put, and to delete, you use delete request. All the HTTP verbs will be here as a method, so you don't need to program that, you just need to call and do the relevant operation inside. All right, so let's see it practically how we can create a sample Express applications. So here in the first application of Express, you can see like first of all, as always, I have included the Express module in my current program. I have already installed the Express module in my application using npm install Express command. After that, you see like I'm passing the express function to this app. So now this app will carry the app express application. All right. Since this object will create will help us to create the express application. Now whenever you see I will make any use of any HTML verb like get post put and delete. We will use it with this current object itself. Here we are using get to read the data right if you want to create a new you will write a post request if you want to update put and if you want to delete a delete request for that so we have a specific HTTP verb for a specific task here we are using app dot get so here as you see I haven't passed any particular page it's slash means this is nothing but a simple uh, get request for the home page all right, so for that particular task, what we are doing, we are sending a response like hello world. All right, so if you want, you can print a message here as well in the console, like using console.log. So let's see how this out output will look like. So first of all, I need to start the server. 
So I have a command prompt here. I'll use node app.js to execute. And here you see example app listening at this particular port 8081. Right? Now let's open the browser in order to make a request. So here you see HTTP colon double slash localhost and here we have the server 8081. So as soon as we'll do that, you see we get the response called hello world. Now here as you can see like I have added a couple of more get requests like this one is for the simple home page application. Alright, this one is for the get request for the home page and here we have the request for the about us. Alright, so I'm printing just these messages in the console in the server application. Alright, and here it is the list. You can see like starting in starting I have put an asterisk symbol which actually means like there could be anything in that place but it must end with the list word alright so whenever this pattern will match we will see this result out there alright so let's see how this will look like so let's restart our server again alright and uh, let's go to the browser as here you see it's a, still hello world if I'll make a request for about us you see about us and if you will write anything which ends with the list like let's say employee list, page listing, if you say department list, still the same thing. Alright, so you can create the multiple get requests for the different pages, different type of pages for the routing thing here. Whenever we make a request like any clients make a request, so rather than sending a simple message, server usually sends a web page. So now let's see how we can send a web page to the user whenever we, he makes any request. So here as you can see like when you'll make a get request for the form we are rather using this uh, response.send we are using the send file method where you must pass the absolute path of the web page. So here we have already created the form.html which looks like that with a couple of text boxes and a submit button. So here I am sub I am sending the same page whenever it will make a request like DIF file that is the global object which will return the current path of the application and in right inside that you will get my page called form.html. Alright and uh, as soon as you will make a request it will be sent. Before that you can see there is a use method as well. This use method would be used whenever we make we want to make any middleware in our application. Middleware means any request which needs to be responded before the actual request. For example, if I want to create the particular routing for a page, so I want that routing should be performed before the actual page request. So such kind of things will be done inside the use function. Right here we have created a uh, folder, a directory called public inside which you can put all the public objects like the style sheet, images, JavaScript code, whatever else you want. Alright, so right now we have just said public so whenever you will have to pass the or you, you will have to use that style sheet or image or JavaScript file. You don't have to give this name. You can directly start calling those particular files. Uh, whenever we will make a get request as I said. So we'll be getting this one. So let's see how it will be done. So let's restart my page. So here you see note app.js. So again my server is started. And now when I will make a get request, let's open a browser and again let's make a request with the port number 8081 slash form. Alright, so as soon as you will make the request, you see I have the form. Now what will happen? I got the form and right here inside the form you can see in the action attribute we are using the same URL with the port number and there is something process.get which is actually we are making the get request. That means whenever you will click on the submit button this will be called and how to handle this? 
we have make that implementation right here the very same uh, value called process underscore get here what we'll do we'll actually uh, string uh, make the first name and last name in the JSON format as the controls name here are first underscore name and last underscore name so we are using the very same values and we are getting those through the query string and we'll put that in the uh, attributes called first name and last name in the JSON file and finally we will send that JSON format to the user now let's see how that will be done so here in the first name I will write tutorials and here I'll write point so as soon as I will submit this you will see like first name tutorials last name point and here in the console as well you will get the similar thing alright but you also see like here in the address bar you are getting all the values so that simply means if it is a secure data we will not be able to make these kind of things so whenever we will submit this particular form we'll try to make a post request and we'll try to implement some security so let's see that now so now converting it into post request will do at around three changes here first is adding this body parser all right so you see body parser is another module which we are using in our program uh, probably we'll have to install that also if you have not installed it earlier and here you see like for this particular page I'm what I'm doing we are encoding the URL so that the complete string should not be visible in the address bar and what we have done we have set the extended false so that the additional string messages will not be there and then while making this request we have we are using this encoded parser here and one more thing like rather than putting it on get like earlier we have converted it to the post request all right and uh, rest of the things is quite similar like we'll make the get request for this form it will be sending it by send file and almost all the things are same all right even here as well the stringify thing in JSON is exactly same now let's come to the page to make a couple of changes right there as well first is we'll change it from get to post request and now these as the uh, request in a uh, app.post we are using process underscore post so you just need to change that as well okay so now let's again run this program to see what are the changes right now my server is again on running mode let's open the chrome all right now we got the page here okay so let's execute it again like first name tutorials last last name points let's submit it again we'll get the same output but you see like here you don't find the additional strings so this is how you can make a secure con conversation using the post request in your express framework now in this program you can see like we are compelling a user that they have to pass the parameters while making a get request so here along with this slash he will also have to pass a product and then some product name or product ID after that as it is mentioned in this regular expression whatever you will enter the first product would be taken from these parameters and you can see we will be giving a message here requested that particular product so let's see how this program will look like so let's execute this program like node app.js and let's open the browser and will make a request with this server you see cannot get if I will make a request for products still it will say cannot get but now after that if I'll pass any uh, product name like tutorials or any product ID like 102 so it will be responding like that and similarly if you want to pass the product ID as the parameter name or as a params you can just pass the colon symbol and any parameter name right here and while reading you can simply say request dot params and then whatever you are passing right here so let's see how it look like the server is already running so let's come to the browser and here we'll make the request like requested one two three four if you will put any value right here and whatever either number or string it will be shown as 
similarly